My name is Rhapsody, welcome back to Monster Train. We're going to be playing Umbra as our primary clan, Stygian as our allied clan on Covenant 1. Again, while we get familiar with these characters, we're going to be playing on Covenant 1. We will be ascending shortly thereafter, though. I will also say that uh, this recorded, uh, or rather this is recorded, after I did a four-hour stream of this game this morning. So there will be cards that are now gold, uh, as well as some events and some new cards that I will have run into and even possibly unlocked uh, in the meantime. The stream content, uh, the episodes that are kind of like highlights, like something really cool happens, uh, those are going to be here on the YouTube channel as well. Keep an eye out for them. All right. Immortal Trade. Apply it. Lifesteal 3 and Everdrain 2 to a unit. We get two copies of that. Oof. Uh, sacrifice. Add three random or uncommon... Uh, sorry. Three random rare or uncommon morsel units to your hand. So we'll sacrifice likely morsels to get that. Uh, Helical Crystallis is uh, deal 25 damage to the front enemy unit twice. Okay. Not bad starter cards. Let's look at the artifact first, I think. Uh, we do have Stygian as our allied clan. So Tempered Talisman could be great here, but I'm also looking at the possibility of getting two damage to enemy units. So then I don't set up on the bottom floor. I don't need to anymore, right? Because this will kill all of the weaker enemies. Yeah, I'll do that. So the architect here that is summoned to gain plus two capacity on the floor and then glutton which gorges for plus three plus three. I like the idea of gorging for plus three plus three, but we're going to need to find multi-strike or something to put on the glutton. Otherwise we will... Or, or trample? Mm. Trample is... Uh... No, trample is a mechanic from this uh, this character. Yes, yeah, so I guess I'm just looking for trample and gorge on the top floor. Sure. Sounds good to me. Non-boss enemy units gain four damage. Uh, so that's just going to be the Forged Disciples are the only ones I really need to care about. As long as uh, they're going to have six damage by the time they get to the top. And they're going to have, uh, what, 36 HP. I want the unit early. We'll see whether or not this is a problem. I don't think it will be. But I'm not used to how fast I can get things to grow. Oh, Helical Crystals means it's definitely not a problem. Never mind. Uh, okay. Penumbra goes on the top. Helical. And then I just want to get cards out of my hand, right? So. Interesting. It's Helical again here. You know what? I'm going to cannibalize you in order to get better picks. I have a morsel for more damage and an excavator to make it lifesteal as well. Ah, oh, hang on. We only have two spaces behind the penumbra, right? Of course, I forgot about that. So I am going to need things to increase capacity as well. I'm fine leaving those in the cycle. Shade split again. Oh, damage shield is great here, obviously. Let's go train steward, train steward. Lifesteal three, Ember Drain two. So the next three attacks the Penumbra does will lifesteal. It doesn't decrease between turns, the amount of lifesteal. Just when you attack with it. Cannibalize you in order to get some better units here. More damage shield, more life steal. And then we just hold. We're fine. Great. Yeah, did forget to consult whether or not I had helical crystals before wondering whether or not this uh, this whole thing was going to be a problem for us. Uh, excavate. There we go. And get rid of the train steward. Get him. Decent fight right there. Okay. From the basic clan. Ooh, space prism. Consume to increase the capacity on that floor. There's also uh, apply rage two and ember drain two to a friendly unit, but you gain two en uh, energy instantly. 
I don't know. Oh, I like the it being passed down the line there. Really, really like that. Uh, I don't think I need the uh, the Rage Ember Drain, though. Yeah, Space Prism, definitely. Mm. See, I don't know if... I mean, I, like, Offering Token... It, if you don't have Offering Token in the deck, you'll just draw the card that you would have drawn instead of the Offering Token, right? So it's only really a benefit if you're using it to also discard things and get a benefit from discarding things, uh, which I don't. Apply Spell Weakness 1 to an enemy unit. I mean, the thing is, Energy Siphon just doubles the damage of my next Helical Crystals against it, which can be a lot. And it's going to be necessary until I get something like Trample on the Penumbra. Oh my god, we got it? Really? Okay, so Morsel Maker goes on the top floor behind a Penumbra and that... Hmm. Actually, let's think about the capacity here. So we put the capacity on the same floor as the Penumbra, right? So we have six capacity on that floor. Six capacity means if I have a Morsel Master, I can play one, it'll duplicate itself. Then I could sacrifice one of them and then play another, duplicate it, end up with three on the same floor as a Morsel Master and a Penumbra. If I increase capacity after the first boss, then I'll have seven, which means that I'll have the Penumbra in three spaces, Morsel Master in two copies, and then I can create a second uh, with two copies. Penumbra, Morsel Master, and then four extra Morsel units. But the Morsel Maker guarantees that by itself, it just gives plus six, plus six to the Penumbra every turn. I'm going to take the Morsel Master because the Antumbra and the Magma Morsels aren't great. And I'm going to want to give more things like Damage Shield and possibly the plus five, plus five that we could get from the uh, Morsel Miner more commonly. Okay. At this rate, I really feel like Cannibalize getting uh, cost reduced here is actually really good. Getting Holdover on it would be really good. Holdover on Energy Siphon would even be good. Um, cost removal, sorry, consume removal on the Space Prism. This is a Stygian unit. If this was an Umbra unit, maybe I would have gone over this way, but it's not. Double stack. Well, I guess that double stacks to two. Okay, that's... So Spell Weakness 2 means that uh, next time the unit is hit by a damage spell, it takes that much damage again for each stack of Spell Weakness. So this would be triple damage on my next Helical Crystals. Okay, I'll take that. Then, I mean, the Helical Crystals honestly want to be cost reduced more than Cannibalize does. No, Cannibalize always needs to be played. Do I want to give plus 10? Do I want to give plus 10 to something, maybe? Power Stone, one of the Helical Crystals? Yeah, it deals that damage twice, so it's actually plus 20 to it. And if I have Spell Weakness, then it's plus 60. The Spell Weakness 2, obviously, is the consideration there. Non boss enemy unit with spikes. These are the Reconcilers. They will actually add those Scourges to my deck, but then they will die as soon as they ascend after that. The fact that not many units are going to get to the top floor in this fight means that the Spikes 3 isn't that big of a problem, and 50 coins is nice. Any of my Morsels that have an attack stat, though, this is going to be bad for them. Uh, as much as I want a Shade Splitter this turn... Do I want a Helical Crystals more? No. Because this also gives me a Train Steward to sacrifice next turn if I happen to draw that. Two extra energy next turn, neat. These two Immortal Trades are feeling really heavy. But as soon as I get to, like, as soon as I'm fighting bosses constantly, Immortal Trades are going to be great. It's just... In the journey to get there. Oof. Um, 
Sure, more frozen lets you. Sucks that I can't get rid of the collector though. If only I'd used Helical Crystals, I would have been fine there. My bad. Didn't look into the future, didn't see what was happening. Double extra energy again. Oh my god. Energy Siphon and then Helical Crystals? Do I throw it right now, though? No. Because if I draw the other spell weakness before another Helical Crystals, or the other upgraded Helical Crystals, then I already have lethal. Yeah, there we go. 105 damage two times there is pretty good. Seems decent. Another Space Prism. Now I don't need to worry about actually removing the consume on them. There's also making of a morsel though that gives you a morsel minor. Morsel minor is plus five, plus five. It's stats. It's very expensive though. So I'd have the ability to reduce the cost of making a morsel pretty easily. Just, you know, long enough run. Hmm. Mind collapse is also there. Deal three damage, uh, three X. So three times the X cost that you put into it. Damage to an enemy unit, slay to gain two energy. I think it's Space Prism, because if it's Space Prism there, then I don't actually need to get a uh, the boss relic to be capacity. Instead, I can go for extra draw, which will offset the uh, the space that the Space Prism is taking in my hand, but it'll get us more consistently back to things like our uh, Cannibalize and our Energy Siphon. Do I take another Energy Siphon here? Is that my deck? No, I look for holdover on the previous one, but that's it. Speaking of looking for holdover on the previous one, I don't have any units that I want to upgrade at the moment because, like, the effect of the Morsel Master isn't really dictated by, you know, it. Uh, so, yeah. Let's go over this way. Holdover, holdover, holdover. Holdover. Nope. Consume removal, lost of cost. I could re-roll here, but we'll go to the uh, we'll go to the concealed caverns first. Oh, well now that is a thing. Oh, uh, you know the annoying thing about it? I don't think I copy anything five times. Five times, like two times, the morsel master is not a great idea here. Like, we do have the ability to go Penumbra, Morsel Master, Morsel Master, but we've seen in uh, the the previous time I played these two clans, which was part of the publisher stream that I did, uh, they don't copy the extra ones, so you'll end up with three, right? They don't copy the morsels from one another. But at the same rate, if I have Penumbra, Morsel Master, Morsel Master, and then three, uh, three morsels on the floor... I'm still one morsel away from max units for that floor, which actually, actually, that was probably what stopped it in the stream. Huh. Okay, it probably does work, uh, it does work to dupe other copies from other morsel masters, but in this specific instance, those two morsel masters would take up a, a significant amount of the capacity that I can have on that floor. Not the capacity capacity, but the unit limit is seven. Uh, so it doesn't really help us more than just playing one morsel master and two morsels on that floor. So I'm thinking like dupe the energy siphon once. Five times energy siphon leaves us in a really weird position where we're really good at killing one target, but we're not building up our penumbra to the point that we'll be able to kill multiple targets. I could also cannibalize though. Like I could see that. Let's cannibalize. Convinced myself at the very end, but I felt like in the previous fight I didn't get enough, uh, enough morsels. And this is a good way to get those. So encamp for plus one, plus one, or sweep to apply spell weakness to the attacked unit. So that's every unit at that rate. The only problem is I don't have a tank to put in front of you. So you would basically just be there for two attacks. Not good. Oh, 
Let me roll. Another double stack. Interesting. Nothing I want to use it on right now, though. Right, we'll take the cost reduction on this helical crystals. Then we'll power stone the other one. Get both of them upgraded decently. Nice. I might go for spell weakness constantly on Daedalus here because I might end up killing Daedalus on um, before the fight actually starts. So that's going to blow up to deal 10 damage. But I still kind of want to set up on... Do I need to set up on... No, I, I can set up on to floor 2. It's fine. It's fine. No, we're good. We're good. Uh, also, also, you go there. Train steward. Cannibalize you. I need the extra damage more right now. And I'll leave the extra morsels in the deck. Okay. That damage shield is really annoying. Guess we're gonna shade split anyway. Let's go, uh... Train steward, train steward. I'll cannibalize one of you. I mean, I'm starting to get damage shield at least with this. But I need more damage again for the overcharged apprentice. Oh, do I though? No, no, no. I've got the morsel master for more damage as well. I'll, I'll take the morsel jeweler right now then. And then stack some spell weakness on you. Just in case you ever come out into the open. Honestly, this these jack strips have like prevented a lot of problems I was gonna have to deal with. Like I would have needed uh, trample a lot earlier if I didn't have it. gonna kill that one. Shade split twice here. Don't need the extra damage anymore as much as I need the extra energy. Still leave the magma morsel in the deck. Okay. Space there. There you go. Frozen Lance, Frozen Lance. Just opening it up. And then I'm not going to do anything because nothing I really can do. I can heal the Penumbra back up using the life seal here. No, no, I don't need to. I'll start putting life seal on it when it matters. Read much later. Shade split. Shouldn't have shade split on that floor, but it's okay. There you go, bud. Good to see you. You're, you're coming out of your shell. You're getting ready to integrate with the rest of us. Uh, I will kill you next floor. Not sorry. Stack again, and then... <laughs> it's good. Right. Uh, Excavator, you can go there. I'm going to cannibalize you. And Timber, you can go there. I'm going to cannibalize you. There we go. Now you have a double Morsel Jeweler, double Excavator. I'm going to be so healthy. Big boy. That is one big boy right there. Kill a morsel unit, trigger eaten and gorge abilities as if it been triggered two times. There's no reason not to take that here. It's huge. Crucible. Gorge to gain one damage shields. No, I don't think I'm building two floors of gorges. Am I? I do have excess. Occasionally. A 
Okay. I'll take it. It's a speculative kind of pick right there, though. Definitely the extra draw. Feeling good about it. Dupe a card, except for your champion, and then 75. Maybe a Morsel Master to go behind a Crucible Warden? I could see it. Crucible Warden, Morsel Master, uh, two space behind it, so I could dupe one Morsel. Whereas with nothing, I can put three morsels there. Never mind. It's not Morsel Master Dupe. It's going to be the other side. Uh, the two removals is really nice. Obviously, like one of the big things we want to get out of the deck is the Frozen Lances right now. Um, the Immortal Trades, like, don't like them right now. We'll hasten to, like, mention that. But in the final fight, uh, or as I'm getting ready for a final boss, they're huge. Remarkable. All right. Let's go over this way. Also got an artifact. Look at the artifact first, I think. Units cost negative two. Now, that actually does have an appeal. Just because it helps me to, uh, like, maybe use an X cost for f all of the energy. Kind of situation. It's also a 50% chance for enemies to be dazed whenever they enter the train. That's actually also really good because it means your, your Penumbra, your Crucible Warden, whoever's your tank on the bottom floor, takes a lot less damage. 50% less. Just makes them a much more considerable tank. I just got the draw. I really like the idea of the Forever Flame. It makes my first cycle so good. So good. Interesting. So there's the Overgorger, which gains plus two damage permanently whenever it gorges. I don't need it. Uh, it's maybe just a little late for it. Another Morsel Master. Honestly, like the second Morsel Master would probably be on its own floor, to be honest. Do I want the Overgorger though, maybe? Get it, like, plus two attack permanently basically every turn. Sorry, plus four. Almost every turn. Hmm. This is a difficult decision. I like the idea of another Morsel Master just so I'm very likely to get one before the Penumbra. Or rather, for the Penumbra very early. Begrudgingly, I will skip. I like the summon for plus two capacity on the floor, but honestly, like, gorging for plus six, plus six is so much better. Because, like, at the moment, we end up, uh, after we get our capacity upgrades, obviously, we have to play those out. That's going to be a bit difficult, but we do have the extra draw for it. Uh, at the moment, we end up with six units on the same floor, so this would give us the ability to put one more down. Whereas this doubles the effect of all of the ones that I get, so... Yeah. Compares pretty poorly, though. The train stewards are free, and I can just play them on a bad floor and then cannibalize them later, so I'm taking the Frozen Lances out here instead of them. I'm just trying to make the broad considerations, you know? Enemies enter with armor 10. That's actually going to be really annoying because these absolvers have five health. So that means that five. I thought they had four. Yeah, but they have five health. So that means they're going to survive the jack strip. So I can't just like let them die to that. And I need to actually be able to kill them very early. So I just don't end up with so many different weights of contrition in the deck. I can't take the 150 here. I'd love to. Can't afford to though. Okay, I think I know what we're doing here. Train Steward, Cannibalize, Penumbra, 
Morsel Master. Crucible Warden goes here. Space obviously on that floor. And then I want... Life Seal doesn't matter to me at all, but I want the more damage on, uh, on the Penumbra at the top. Okay, cool. So my second line will now kill both of those without a problem. I want that to stay, but I also want to cannibalize it. Well, we shade split here. Fine, I'll Magma Morsel there, and then I'll cannibalize one of those. Again, we'll just go for more damage. And then, I guess, stack out the bottom floor. Again, no need for an immortal trade. Get my money. I cannot wait to get it. Is it going to be plus nine, plus nine, or is it going to double again? Because the thing is, like, the upgrade path, if you go down strictly the same upgrade path for a champion, uh, it, it usually has... Uh, it, 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 what's the opposite of diminishing returns? I, I don't want to say exponential because it's not exponential, but it, it, like, the upgrades get better, not each time, but the third upgrade is better. So uh, an example would be 5 armor, 10 armor, 20 armor on a slay. Or uh, 1 multi-strike, 2 multi-strike, 4 multi-strike. So it's doubling each time. So if it's plus 12, plus 12. Ooh, ooh. Sounds good. Sucks to get the spike in a hand where I have actually no morsels. Literally, it's the only hand this entire time that's not going to have any morsels as well. That's rude. That is just rude. I just can't play that train suit yet. Okay. Let's double stack that on you. I guess I can blow you up this time. Uh, it doesn't matter. No, it doesn't matter. So we get the wider contrition out and then we'll just shade split a shade splitter. Eat them all. Uh, okay, okay, we've got seven energy and we have the shroud spike now. That's exactly what we're looking for. Okay, cannibalize you. Honestly, none of those are really exciting. In Sombra Monster, you go there and I'm gonna cannibalize you. I hate that I'm never getting the morsel miner here. Rude. A lot of damage shield though. Which I guess is fine. Ugh. If you like damage shield. <laughs> Good stats. It's just very good stats. Uh, I don't need any energy anymore. Spell weakness. Even more drain. Even more lifesteal. Can blast the top unit and find... Oh, finally got the Morsel Miner. Even more damage if I can get it. Throw those back there. Oh, it's big. I wonder if I could actually multi-class it into trample at the next area. Hopefully I see the trample. Because Penumbra does just have a unit that's big and has trample. Oh, I actually do end up taking... Oh, rude. So rude. Right. Primal Dance, consume for damage shield. 
cave in, descend friendly units uh, and enemy units on this floor. If we weren't already consistently reaching the uh, the six amount on the Penumbra and Morsel Master, that's a really good way to override the capacity on a floor. Just you put like a bunch of morsels on a single floor. They don't get eaten because there's no front known morsel unit. And then you cave them into the bottom. Honestly, none of these look like they're necessary at all for the deck. We don't have the energy to play Excavation Corruption yet. Uh, eruption by itself yet. And none of these seem necessary at all. Cool. It feels like the deck is pretty much almost done. Watch my units gain new powers. That actually is a little more interesting now that I have the Crucible Warden, because, like, it could give me a... Uh, Multi-strike? Maybe? Wait, no, multi-strike. Is multi-strike just an ironclad exclusive? I think I read a comment about this very recently saying that uh, all of the different clans have different exclusive runes that can show up in shops. I'm going to take this, but we'll see. I'm going to make it large. Make it three size. I'm usually only putting two units behind it anyway. I could happily make it large here. Uh, before we do that, let's get the money and remove the two cards we're going to remove. So obviously Frozen Lads. Train Steward. We had one too many of them last, uh, last time. I will large stone you. And then I'm going to refresh as well. Oh, never mind. Multi-strike is here. Cool. <laughs> oh, that worked out really well. I kind of want to just cut, like, one, two... I'd only be able to cut two more cards from the deck, but I want to cut two cards right now. But I also know, yeah, next area... Oh, next area doesn't have a, a Merchant of Trinkets. I'll still hold it. I don't... I'm not desperate to cut those cards. I do want to. I'm not desperate to. Normal enemy units heal all health when they move off a floor. That's not that bad because very quickly the uh, Penumbra just kills frontline units instantaneously by itself. And these two health units in the Silent Marksman just died of the Jack Strips. Jack Strips was way more of an important choice than, uh, than I think I made out for it at that time. And also way more of a definitely correct choice. Uh, considering I can't attack back on this floor, I'm going to set up Penumbra and then the Gorja on the floor below it. Yep. I might want to just Shroud Spike right now. Yeah. And then I'm going to end Sombra and Excavator here because, like, no one's going to be facing them. They're not going to get eaten by anything until I put the uh, Gorger down on that floor. There we go, Crucible Warden. I was calling it Gorja because it kind of looks like the Overgorja, but Crucible Warden. Got it. I'll keep that in mind. Great. Feel darkness. Is what the Crucible Warden just said. I didn't just randomly say that. It has a speech bubble. It has a speech bubble and everything. Cannibalize you. Shade split as well. And there's probably just going to be train steward, train stewards. I need to care about more damage on this top floor a lot right now. Just for the sake of the Ojitaj tank getting to the top with the uh, 90 HP. Gonna need to be able to kill that. Especially because it harvests when I have my morsels die as well. Oh, there's the morsel miner. It's the big one we're always looking for. I guess the big one for which we're always looking. Pop those two out. I think I need the extra energy more than I need uh, 
uh, and Tumbra. Morsel on top floor. No reason not to just throw out the Helical Crystals there, I think. There's also no reason to do it. Mind. Okay. Uh, this is definitely the end. Hold your breath and count to 10. You best believe you got to feel the earth move again. Uh, gonna have to cannibalize you if I want more, and I do. Great. Cannibalize you as well. Fine, we'll go for the weenie units there, and then the lifesteal on the top floor. Yeah, I think the second floor was um, maybe not essential, but useful. I'll definitely go with a useful. I could swing a useful. I wouldn't be surprised to kill on this floor. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to. A uh, good fight right there. Oh, sorry, someone in my comments also told me that uh, that holding right-click will actually speed up the animations. I'll do that in the future. My bad. Uh, gem Trove, apply damage shield one to friendly units. Add three uncommon or rare morsels to your hands. No? There's a card that gives you, uh, what is it? Uh, two random uncommon or rare morsel units to your hand and gives damage shield to something, and it costs two. This gives you damage shield to all friendly units, so it covers all the units on the floor. But how often do you want to give damage shield to non-front units? Only when you're going up against sweep? I think it's that important. Also damage shield to rage six. I'm, nah, don't need that either. I'm not worrying about goldening cards yet. That's a later consideration. Ice Storm, I love the idea of getting that and then putting two uh, plus 10 stones in it and it just being 21 damage to a random enemy unit five times for one energy. But it's not that right now. Okay. Let's go over this way. Another multi-strike one. Really wish they didn't take the large stone now. Missile Sword gives us whenever you play the third spell of a turn, all cards gain plus one magic pound for the battle or 50% chance to remove all buffs from an enemy unit whenever it enters your train. Uh, we play a lot of spells each turn. Like we will play three spells pretty much each and every turn, but the plus one magic power means almost nothing to me. Not nothing, mind. Just... Almost. The claw. The claw just deletes a unit, but it's another card that I may not necessarily need in the deck right now. Trap shoot also just like gives me another chance. I'll take the trap shoot, it's cheaper. But it'll give me another chance at units that are they're getting big, but a little too fast for me. Come on, Fell Guardian. Don't go to the bottom floor. Didn't go to the bottom floor. Much appreciated. Umbra. Space increase. Morsel Master. There's nothing to cannibalize this turn. I am considering it. I'm not going to, but I am considering it. Just have that much faith in our penumbra unit on the top floor. Okay. Throw that away. Obviously, start putting spell weakness on you. There's another sacrifice in the deck, and I'm likely to draw it next turn. I draw six out of the eight cards. 
So I'm going to pop you there. So that you die. And it's not going to be something I have to worry about at all. Obviously, that's not what I intended to do, but it's okay. We'll uh, we'll run with it. I forgot that the the uh, statue was attacking as well. Okay. Good thing the helical crystals are now here. We actually need one there. We didn't get the sacrifice this turn anyway, so my previous play wouldn't have even helped. I'm gonna sacrifice those on that floor. Really gonna start needing some uh, some stuff for the over... No, not overgorger. There's stuff in the midline there. Crucible Master or whatever it's called. Crucible Warden. Okay, let's cannibalize you first. Yeah, I think this is easy. Tumbra, you go there. Magma Morsel, and then the Morsel Excavator go on top. Shade Split again? Yeah, I think I do. Extra energy next turn is nice. But in the end, Sombra. And now we've got damage shield, so we don't really care about these 240s coming up. We'll definitely eventually need to care about them. But not yet. Should definitely cast in uh, a helical this turn, though. Alright. I'm gonna have to cannibalize here, looking for something better. Still didn't find it. It's fine, though. Honestly, you need, like, one lifesteal. Yeah, just one. Heal your back up, I'd feel a lot better about it. Plus, obviously, you get the damage. Uh, damage shield, rather. Okay. A another cannibalize. Do have a target with the Shade Splitter. Shouldn't play it on that floor for the Encant Trigger. No Encant Triggers on the bottom floor. We're fine. I just don't know if, like, I really need to be stacking that much in terms of the lifesteal on the uh, the Penumbra right now. Especially considering the Crucible Warden is so big. Heck, I could even be convinced to use the Shroud Spike right now. I'm not going to, but I could have been convinced. You cannot best us, says the Master of Light. I beg to differ. I'm almost certain that we can. Something would have to go real wrong right now for us to not be able to. Like something along the lines of uh, a meteor crushing my house and preventing me from recording the end of the episode. Something on that level. Whoa. Getting uh, getting some real big numbers with this clan. Feeling very good about it. Shade split. And then we cannibalize that. Still not really finding what I was looking for there, but that's okay. Pop you two there, and an immortal trade, setting up for the next turn to be great. 
We've got equal damage shield and life drain actually on that target. That's not helpful. Daze you by two. Double stack that and then mm, deal 600 damage to you. Seems good. Give you more life drain. We were always fine there. Like there were multiple different ways we could have gotten lethal. I'm going to start speeding through those more commonly. I just keep forgetting. Returns consumed morsels to your hand. It's also forever consumed. Deal 30x damage to the front enemy unit. And uh, the energy siphon can set up that to be really big. But also this does 70 damage, which is like two and a bit energy right now. I'm going to take Wretch. I need to. I need to. So do I target it on one of my own units and it's all the unit, the morsels they've consumed? Because that's going to overfill my hand like a lot. Kind of want the extra draw again. But I also want the extra energy just for the sake of the Shroud Spike though. Only for the sake of the Shroud Spike? Nah, I shouldn't do it just for the sake of the Shroud Spike. Go for the extra energy again. What do you got for us? Spells gain an extra upgrade slot. Do I have a spell upgrade in the next area? I do. Is it on a side I want? It is. Okay. That's fairly expensive. I could re-roll. Seven energy on the first turn of the battle. The likelihood that I have Shroud Spike as well as something that I want to consume, like a good morsel on the first turn, is low. I'm going to re-roll. <laughs> Start a battle, summon a morsel miner on each floor. There's also, whenever you summon the second unit during a turn, gain three energy. That's good. That'll do. It is plus 12, plus 12. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> you ready to get big, buddy? Hey, kids, you want to get uh, big? With two Gs, one G capitalized, the other G not capitalized. Uh, no more enemy units gain. Whatever. Like, I care. Oh, if only I could munch that this turn. Now, you have sweep. You attack all enemy units on the floor. That is what we call in the business a problem. Hmm. Don't like that. It'll kill all of my morsels before they get eaten. That's the big thing about that. Shade split this turn. Extra energy. Uh, I'm gonna spell weakness to you because you're the only target to hit with it, but also because if I can kill you with a helical crystal, so I'd be really pleased about it. I'll use trap shoot later to take out a different enemy, or rather daze a different enemy. And I'll also sacrifice the train steward here. I don't need it. Didn't get it. Rude. So that's on a floor. Interesting. Okay. Uh, obviously, space. Also, Master will shade split. Get the train steward there. Cannibalize the train stewards. And Sumbra, cannibalize the Sumbra. Ooh, stop giving me health, please. It's real rude. Only morsels on the top floor are even going to do anything this turn, is the thing. So I want the down edge. And I can't play anything else. 
Because this has sweep. It'll just kill him. I don't even get... The, oh. I can't even get the collector. Bye. All right. It's fine. Let's... Uh, Space there again. Gosh, the Morsel Monster is going to take so much damage here as well. We're probably going to lose the Morsel Monster, honestly. That's a lot of damage the Crucible Warden's about to take also. Let's block 15 of it. Shade split and nice. Some some damage shields there. I don't need to shroud spike those. I'll have better shouts uh, shroud spike turns later. Okay. This could be that turn is the thing. It'd be uh I'm gonna stack the siphon on you. Wretch. Didn't get me back the miner. Interesting. Didn't put it in my deck. Didn't put it in my discard pile. Okay, so it's, is it most recent or is it random? That's what we need to know next. Cause obviously we need to be able to plan around it. Does it say anything that would give me information there? Consume. No, it doesn't say anything that would give me information there. Catabolize you for some different options. Just more of the same, honestly. Get the extra energy next turn. Thirty-five on the pyre wing. I'm gonna get rid of the garbage units here, actually, so I don't draw back into them. I might just happily lose that floor, to be honest. In fact, it doesn't look like I really have a choice about it at all. So good thing I'm happy about it. Do I have a choice? I do. It'd be descending the Gilded Wing, which is already a rough proposition, because then this floor becomes ridiculous. No, I, I can't do anything like that. Shade Splitter for... Sombra Cannibalize. Still a lot of things I didn't necessarily want here. I mean, they're all going to die to the Pyre Wings. You know what? No, it's Trap Shoot you down. You just die by doing that. And then I can block with one of these and then eat with the other. So I'll block with an Antumbra and then I'll eat the Morsel Jeweler. Helical will at least deal damage here. Decent amount. Let's go damage. Damage shields. Again, anything on this floor is just going to get swept away. Maybe I don't care about my energy anymore, though. Eat. Eat, be merry. Okay. So that was 
Just, uh, Shroud Spike. Let's see if that'll do anything for us. Uh, again, top floor actually isn't necessary. And then we excavate the Morsel Master down. Honestly, the excavator gives us lifesteal. I'm gonna, I'm gonna Shroud Spike that right now. This has Trample, but we have six damage shield and seven lifesteal. We should be okay. Okay. This floor is not enough to get the kill, but it is not far. Some more life drain, just in case that would have helped. It did not. In fact, didn't even change the amount. Okay, not getting the miner there again starts to feel like it's like recency kind of situation. But also, like these, how many uh, how many entombers have I actually had you eat? Why are you giving these back? Hmm. So maybe it's not based on the ones eaten on that floor. Oh, I didn't even get the third there. There we go. And that will resolve pretty well for us. Oof. Glad I knew how to make that one faster. Feast again? I don't think I need that. Ember Cash adds three excavated embers to your discard pile. Um. Yeah, it's good for the spike. And then I don't need any of these. Very happy to be past them. Final boss to wrath the diligent is coming up soon. Uh, we could dupe another thing. Is there anything I super want to dupe here? Uh, another energy. Uh, energy siphon isn't bad. But more than that, I want the extra removal off on this side. Right. Let's look at the merchant trinkets first as well. Uh, the start of turn, add a common or uncommon morsel unit to your hand. Okay. Just means I'm eating on the first turn, at least. Uh, these Shade Splitters can now, like I don't actually need all the Shade Splitters now and keeping the Train Stewards as units to sacrifice is still pretty appealing to me. So get rid of these Shade Splitters. All right, let's go. First spell card played each turn gains consume. Maybe I shouldn't have removed the the more uh, the cheaper morsels there. Maybe, maybe. Okay. Ember Cash already gets consumed anyway, so I'll play it first and then start stacking some weakness on you. Get that there. Morsel Master there, increase the space on that floor, get myself another double defend. Ooh, baby. I hope I get Gorge next turn. God, Gorge would be so good this turn. Gorge and capacity, here we go. I, oh my God, I did get Gorge. Gorge, Gorge is wretch. Wretch is what I meant. Oh my god, I got them both. Okay, hang on. Both of these out just for space in hands. Then wretch. Return consumed morsel units. nothing this turn. The Shroud Spike does nothing. Well, I guess it does trigger Gorge a bunch of times. Yeah. 
A whole bunch of energy and nothing to do with it, but I also get this unit very big very quickly. So, I don't want to consume that yet. Definitely throw the train steward on the bottom floor. Let's get rid of both of those mutilations. Damage shield, honestly, is more important down here. But also, I'm not going to get more morsels past this point. I need to be consuming constantly. Okay, you go up there then. Um, get rid of the expensive helical crystals, maybe. So I don't have to cycle back into it. Sure. And then both of these Wilt Wings will die on the next floor dealing damage, so instead I'll have them die right now. Excellent. I know that the Purifier is constantly putting the self-mutilation atop my deck, but also setting up on the bottom floor and just letting units that already would die to the uh, the jack strips not, or rather get attacks off before they die to the jack strips, doesn't sound like a great idea to me personally. Let's consume the shade splitter there, so that we can keep the cannibalizers when we start playing them. Again, cannibalize you. Okay, more damage shield for the midline. Uh, it feels like that is honestly where I'm going to want... Uh, I mean, maybe life... Yeah, I probably should have given one life steal there, honestly. And then just throw that out. Great. Oh, you gotta love it when you see the boy get big. You have to. You're not allowed to not to. Look at that big boy. I'm going to play the one that already consumes. These shards out of hand. Throw that on you. And honestly, I don't really care about drawing more cards. Oh, I should draw one more card. Yeah, because Wretch has a lot of, a lot of minions for us. Yeah, uh... Wretch. Okay. Start building damage shields on you. And then, actually, uh, some extra energy next turn? Sure. I could have used Cave In to get more units behind the Crucible Warden. I'm only just starting to think about that now. Don't know why I didn't consider it at the time. Can't play Cannibalize this turn without losing it. It's fine though. I don't need to play it. Okay, extra damage, extra damage. Hold. Having the two Gilded Wings on the same floor was always going to be an issue for us. I mean, you already got Lifesteal. Stop putting some Lifesteal on you. Again, not that it really matters at this point. We've already got the win. But still. It's nice enough to do All right. 
Unfortunately, the Seraph never revealed itself, so I didn't have the ability to throw my giant damage at it. Excuse me, suddenly sneezing a lot. All right. Let's wrap up this fight. Get rid of that. Uh, I want to get rid of as many units in hand as possible. Or rather, as many cards in hand as possible here. Whoops, again. And then we will we'll trade you. I want to cannibalize anything. Honestly, I could cannibalize. Oh. Constantly sneezing. Sorry, I have to keep muting the mic as a result. Uh, mic, rather, as a result. Let's give you the extra damage. Pop these two on the bottom floor, and then... Okay, what do we got? Uh, probably more damage shields, honestly, at this point. Actually, you know what? I'll also get the lifesteal, too. Yeah, that top floor is going to be a bit annoying. Guild of Wings is going to get past. So unless I kill on this floor, that's a problem for us. Okay, let's go Life Seal Minion there. Because honestly, like at this point, I'm just looking to see if I can do this. Uh, energy, and then we'll cannibalize you. Getting more Life Seal Minions, I think. And then let's give you three more lifesteal. And now I'm just going to descend you so I don't have to worry. Like, next turn, it's going to be fine. Actually, in fact, that's going to die already. It'll be fine. And then lifesteal and damage. Got it. So if that floor isn't going to do it by itself... I'll just do it by myself elsewhere. You do have a lot of health, bud, but uh, I'm pretty sure I've got this one. And that I'm not even going to take damage. Because I heal it right back up. Ooh. Brutal. Absolutely brutal right there. And finally, a success on the uh, on the YouTube file, at the absolute least, with the Penumbra Champion Leader. Excellent. Pretty good run, all in all. Let's see what the score is and what we unlock. Wretch and Trap Shoot. Yeah, only two things even got golden over the course of the run, but we get the Umbra level upgrade to get Ember Forge, plus two energy a turn, and it's four size. Ooh, and it's one cost. Oh, ho, ho, ho. yes. Uh, the first, uh, when you summon your first morsel unit each turn, draw one. Also great. Feels like that's great all the time as Umbra. Uh, deal 20 damage to a random enemy unit three times. Okay, so that's where a spell we think is going to set up. Revenge, apply Frostbite 2 to enemy units. Oh, that's really interesting. Anytime it's damaged, that'll happen. I could even put Frostbite on my own Titan Sentry, so at the end of every round, it takes damage and revenges its enemies. Nice. Just a little bit of progress there, not much, but just a little bit. For the moment, my name's been Rhapsody, the name of the game has been Monster Train. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves. There's a playlist in the description down below with all of my content on this game, past, present, and future. And another uh, episode coming out in a couple of hours. And then a couple of hours after that, I'll be streaming this live on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves and hopefully we'll see you then.